Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's review will focus on the newest Disney film starring Kelly Marie Tran and Awkwafina. Given that Disney's last original film was Moana, I was in two minds of what I could would think about this film. So this is Kia's reviews and this is my review of Raya and the Last Dragon. You are glowing. Oh, thank you. I use aloe and river slime to maintain my- No, no. Look. This is my little sister Amba's magic! I got the glow! Your little sister's magic? Yeah, every dragon has a unique magic. Uh, okay, what's yours? I'm a really strong swimmer. Leading up to the release of this film, I had no expectations and hadn't seen a single trailer to familiarise myself with the characters or story. I basically was going in blind. That actually worked in favour for Raya and the Last Dragon because the story is so strong and it introduces so many characters for the audience to fall in love with, or even feel like something is wrong with a character. It's probably going to become one of the Disney movies that I enjoyed the characters more than anything else, a situation I really haven't found myself in since The Princess and the Frog. Wow, those cats are really fast, huh? What do cats and Droon have in common? Um, they have no soul. And they both hate water. Oh. Hold on! Disney's animation has always been incredible, the last few movies in their catalogue demonstrating the talent with these animators. This was another step from Frozen 2, as the colours were vibrant and stood out for every location in which our group of characters travelled to. Whether it's dark blues, neon lamps, or shining yellows, each scene of this movie has something to offer visually, and that's specifically what I found kept me interested. I was fascinated with everything I was seeing on screen, that I had to keep reminding myself that this was an animation and not a real movie. The visuals were most definitely the highlight of the film. How can I help you? Well, I'm Sisu, and, and we I need to get to Talon now. I'm sorry, the Shrimporium is not a water taxi. <laughs> Toy, that's a lot of jade. Half now, half when we arrive in Talon. Deal? Glass bond to your kanji. Today's special is to go. For the characters to be as good as they were, they required a strong set of voice actors. This film has it all. Every single character was perfectly voice acted. I'm not a massive fan of Aquafina as I didn't really like her in Jumanji 3 or in Crazy Rich Asians, but in Raya and the Last Dragon, she shines. Alongside Aquafina, Kelly Marie Tran, most infamously known as Rose from the sequel trilogy of Star Wars, shone as well. It felt believable that these voices matched these characters. Sure, the dialogue is not always strong, but what do you really expect from a kids movie? The only flaw I felt that this had was the comedy. It tried really hard to land some comedic one-liners, but it never really boded well with the audience, even though Disney usually gets people laughing. I was a little disappointed in that regard. Please, let me help you. I too wish to join this fellowship of Droon, but kickery. Overall, Raya and the Last Dragon was a film I didn't expect to be as good as it was. Colourful, strong, and quite a brilliant mix of everything, I really liked what this became, evolving such a Mulan-like character into something bigger and memorable for this generation of kids. So I'll give this movie a strong 9 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. Are you going to see Raya and the Last Dragon? Let me know below. If you like what you're seeing here and you want to see even more, check out my channel and be sure to have a look at my previous reviews of Chaos Walking and Minari. As always, be sure to follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This has been Kia's Reviews, signing off for now.